Hello guys and welcome to Should I Play This? Today I'm going to take a look at bounty hunting in the Elite Dangerous. So first let's take a look at, the, at my setup on my Viper. So this is the setup that I'm currently running and this is, I have two multi cannons. in the first two slots, and uh, both of them are gimbaled and you can see that they are gimbaled by this icon it looks a little bit like a star and what that does is that it auto tracks your enemy target uh, if, as long as you have it in your sights the, the cannons will track whatever you are aiming at even if it's a subsystem, subsystem you are you're aiming at or have locked in your system and on the two top slots I have two gimbal lasers and that's to take care of the, the shields because lasers are good against shields and uh, the multi cannons are good against the hull and armor and these are gimbal as well for ease of use and I find that the beam lasers are really good at taking down uh, shields and then you will need a kill warrant scanner and what this does is that it lets you scan the enemy ship and uh, it will detect any bounties in other systems as well so you will get all of the bounties that are connected to an enemy target if you scan it first and this can greatly improve your profits and how much you earn per kill when you are bounty hunting and then I have a chaff launcher you don't need this, you can have anything else in this slot as well um, but I have it just to uh, to throw out some uh, <coughs> some chaff if I get uh, targeted by for example an anaconda or something that's sending missiles and and shooting and all of these it, it doesn't really matter what you put in these uh, you'll upgrade them as, as you go along and earn more money you should probably upgrade the power distributor first because it's very important and that's my, my setup currently if you have a more expensive kill warrant scanner then you can scan ships at a longer range which is useful because it can be a bit of a pain to keep the uh, the ships in your crosshairs for long enough to scan them when they're moving around. And something else you should know that is very important, probably the most important thing at all, is that if you look at this screen in the left bottom of the screen, you'll see that my balance is at 298,735 credits and my rebuy cost is 106,228 credits. This is extremely important because the rebuy cost is how much I have to pay to get my ship back if it gets, uh, gets destroyed. So if I go out there bounty hunting now and, and I die horribly because I, an, an Anaconda shoots me in the face, I'm going to have to pay 106,228 credits to get my ship back. If I don't have that money in my, in my bank account, which is my balance, let's say I only had 50,000 credits in my balance, well then I can't rebuy my ship and it's, it's lost. I just don't have a ship anymore and I have to start over. So, uh, so please make sure that you have enough uh, credits in your account, in your balance, to cover the cost to rebuy your ship. Before you do anything in the game really, before you leave the station, before you go trading, before you go exploring, before you do anything, before, uh, before leaving the station, make sure you have that money. Or well, you will be very, very sorry. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, let's get into space and look at how we bounce events. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I'm at Delaney Freeport, which is uh, owned by the Purple Hand Gang in the Kojin system, and it's uh, an anarchy system. Anarchy systems are great for bounty hunting because here you can kill everyone without uh, ever having trouble with the police. Nobody's going to care. If you bounty hunt in a system that has uh, police, then you can be unlucky and you can hit the police and they'll start shooting at you. Or if you hit something that doesn't have a wanted status in that system, the police will also uh, put a bounty on you and start hitting you. And there's, a, there's a small things that can be annoying if you bounty hunt in a system that has police. So anarchy systems is, uh, is probably your best bet. Of course you can also do it in a security system, you just have to be careful not to hit the police and to only hit uh, ships that has a bounty in that specific system. 
So the, here you can check how much money you made in the different factions killing bounties. Depending on uh, on the different ships you kill, uh, they will have bounties in the Federation or the Alliance or the Empire, and you have to actually go to a station that is Federation or Alliance or Empire to cash in your bounty. So you'll, you'll probably accrue a lot of money before you actually bother to go cash them in. Because I have to travel quite far to cash in on the Alliance, and that's why I, I accrued quite a lot of money at this point in time. So now, uh, this is how you bounty hunt. You go to your, your galaxy map here. Actually, you go to just your navigation tab, and you look at, you find the nav beacon. And there's a nav beacon in any system. And you go there. That's an excellent place to bounty hunt. So just align with the nav beacon. And then we will super cruise there. So here we are approaching the navigation beacon in the system. And I'll leave a super cruise and arrive. So the first thing you want to do is uh, check your contacts. And I can see there's an ASP here and an adder. I'll uh, lock the ASP. And then I need to uh, scan it with my K-scanner. I've deployed my hard, power, hard points now. So you can see I started scanning. You can see two lines moving towards each other. When they meet, I'll have scanned the ASP. And you need to keep the ASP in front of you at all times to scan it. So I can see it has a bounty of 25,000 credits. So I'll target a subsystem here, I'll target the power plant of the ASP, because it can be relatively hard to kill, so it might explode before I actually kill it if I target the subsystem that is the power plant. I can see that it is already fighting another ship. That will make it easier for me. Its shields are already in half. So I need to get within range for my cannons to hit it. So I will not fire here. You see it drops really, really fast because it had almost no shields left. see in the bottom left corner that uh, the power plant is at 48%, so now I'm hitting the power plant again, dropping it down to zero and yes, we'll explode. And now we made uh, 25,000 credits. So this is how you bounty hunt. When you start out, you'll have a less expensive ship yourself and you'll probably start out bounty hunting sidewinders and stuff like that, perhaps even in a security system, and that's fine. So I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Next time I'll look at trade in Elite Dangerous. I'll catch you guys next time.